I'm John Skinner, and this supports Chapter 5 in my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. In this video, I'm fishing with one of Spro's new chrome bucktails, and certainly flesh uh, in any lure is a good thing. I'll be tipping the bucktails with otter tail bait strips. I'm using the top strip, and that's actually one that's cut from the uh, larger size on the bottom. And these are available at J&H Tackle, Oakdale, Long Island, both in the store and online. These are two three-quarter ounce bucktails, a Spro and a Homemade, and one of the differences is where the hook eye placement is, and that affects how the bucktail hangs. Spro type bucktails hang level, which is perfect for vertical jigging, and you see that kind of action right there. That jig is nice and level. It's perfect for fishing from a boat. Uh, in this video, I'll be fishing from the shore, casting and retrieving, so the hook eye placement isn't as important in this particular application. What's more important to me is the hair density. The bucktail on the right, uh, one of my homemades, tied with a lot of hair. It's uh, good except when you've got a lot of wind, which I've got um, pretty good crosswind here, and uh, the camera doesn't do it a lot of justice, but it's a nasty crosswind, and I made a couple of casts with my homemade bucktail, and with all that hair on there, it was just catching too much wind, and I was getting too much belly in the line. So I switched over to the Spro, and the Spro's got a, a little bit of a narrower head, and uh, it helps it to cut through this wind and um, you know stay in the water it cut uh, down on the belly in the line and it was just a a good bucktail for this situation and this is a shallow application I'm only hitting about eight feet of water here and it's in this type of a setting where uh, a, a small change in the bucktail weight or hair density can make quite a bit of difference and you know even though the two bucktails that I showed were both three quarter ounces they're actually quite different lures because the the spro with a little bit less hair, a narrower head, it's going to cut through that wind nicely, and uh, it's going to go a little bit deeper. Now, had it been glass calm, uh, as it was in my previous video, I reached for my homemade, and, and the homemade worked out great. Uh, but it, it is true that in these situations where you're not fishing in a lot of water, um, a subtle difference, you know, eighth of an ounce in the weight can make a difference, hair density can make a difference. Um, but this was a nice chance to check out these uh, Chrome Spro bucktails, and yeah, how nice is this? You know, you've got a, a nice shiny head, and uh, I, I think it's always a good thing to have flash on a lure, so it's a pretty nice jig. So you might have noticed that one hit uh, in pretty close, and uh, it's just typical in these settings where, uh, you know, I'm in a creek here, but it's got a little bit of a channel cut, and uh, quite often you'll get hits near the slope of the channel, and that's where that fish hit. You can watch the retrieve speed on this uh, particular segment. And, uh, yeah, with the shallow water, I'm starting to retrieve pretty much as soon as that lure hits the water. In fact, with a crosswind, I'm going to take a few fast cranks right away to pick up that belly in the line. And you can see it's a pretty steady retrieve there. Um, you know, I'm just looking to glide that lure pretty close to the bottom, slow to moderate retrieve, like I often say. And... Uh, you know, if you can do that in the presence of bass will and hit lures, uh, you're in a good position to catch. So the rod is a 7-foot Penn Battalion, rated 8 to 15 pound test line. The reel is a Penn Clash 3000, and the line is 15 pound test spider wire ultracast. At the end of the braid, I have about a 30-inch liter of 30 pounds has fluorocarbon, a barrel swivel between the braid and the fluorocarbon, and a number 50 tactical angler's clip uh, where the lure is connected. I often get questions about some of the other gear. Uh, the waders are LL Bean breathables. And that jacket is a stormer jacket, and uh, this is eastern Long Island in the early spring, so it's, it's chilly, the water's cold, and uh, you know, this is an evening trip, and as that sun gets lower, it's, it's getting cool out, the temperature's down in the 40s, and uh, yeah, the uh, stormer striker is a nice jacket, keeps you toasty. So I've got pretty good current running from my right to left, and as I mentioned, I've got a cross breeze there, so... I'm probably aiming almost straight out, and then that cross breeze is knocking the lure back up current a little bit. And, 
yeah, you know, I want it to land a little bit up current. And then I'm starting that retrieve pretty much right away and uh, just, just working it right in front of me and a little bit down current. One of my favorite things about the Spro Bucktails is that they're made with Gamagatsu hooks. And uh, those are just spectacular hooks. It's always what I want to be using when I'm uh, doing any kind of light tackle, especially all my fluke fishing and so forth. Uh, I do not crush the barbs on these hooks. They come with a very small barb, uh, but the hooks are just needle sharp. They penetrate very easily. They're strong, uh, pretty much perfect. I'm pretty much done narrating, but I've got just beautiful colors on this one particular little segment here. Um, I'll come back and narrate a little bit at the end because something somewhat unexpected happened. So, enjoy.
So the bite went into dark. Uh, this is the last one I'm going to show on video, and I won't even show this one all the way through because it's just getting a little too dark for the video. Yeah, I had just about enough light to get a still picture of that one. This was actually the, the following evening, but it was a kind of an unexpected catch given how early in the season it is. Mm -hmm. And there's my first fluke of the season. And it's a pretty decent size, but I'm still more than two weeks away from the beginning of the season, of the season where I can legally keep them. So this one's going to go back. And that one also hit the uh, Chrome Spro with the Otter Tail bait strip. Okay, I hope you uh, found this video useful, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel.